survival mode. This is survival mode as far as I'm concerned. I just, I love the idea of just a bunch of, oh. Someone's here, someone's here to rob us. Oh my God, it's a thief. It's a thief with a vape. Smoke screen. Oh God, smoke okay. screen, oh God, I can't see, oh geez. Ben, what he's happened? taking the TV. The one we're playing on right now. Oh, oh God, no. he's walking away with it. That's why we're oh, playing God, so it's badly. Out the door. It's not our fault. Oh, it's gone. I'm doing Thief Simulator in real life. Oh, God. Is, is it a simulator? It's a simulator of Thief Simulator. It's a simulator of a real thing. Oh, Christ. Again, no, apologizing. It's a simulator of a simulator that simulates real things. The simulator inside a simulator inside another simulator. Yeah, because real life might be a simulation too. <gasps> yeah. Starting to <laughs> yeah. starting to wonder about that, honestly. That's why we have so many dumb people in this world. They're all NPCs. Yeah. Go! Oh. 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 Double God. XP, so. Damn. Two more mech parts. I don't remember this part being so hard. I thought it got a lot harder later on. Oh yeah, god, the spiders. Quick. I gotcha. I'm here. You got me, but who's got you? I'm here. Alright, I'm dead. Guess you don't got me. I guess, I guess so. There's the freaking Tommy gun. I needed that the whole game. Nova. All right. Hey, Ben. There I am. <laughs> I got blue blood. Yeah, you do. I got problems. You're an android. So I guess you are the real Tesla. Oh, time warp. Hurry. I can't believe I can't come back. I thought it'd be like a, you know, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Yeah. I die, and, but I still have a few lives left. Yeah. Thought so too. Every turtles game ever. Aye. There's so many. I don't think I've. You know, I'm trying to recall, but I don't think I've ever actually read uh, Shadow over Innsmouth. It's a good one. I like that one. It's eerie. What exactly is it about, though? I know that the the fish creatures are. Are aren't they like? demanding sacrifice or something no it's like some guy just shows up to this town that like has kind of been secluded from the rest of society like just by choice people don't like going there because they think the people from there are strange but then like he finds out like some weird dealings that they're having with like these creatures that come to the shore that give them all of the like money and everything that they and like supplies and artifacts and things that they sell for money. And like, just this whole thing about finding out that Innsmouth is just a whole bunch of fish people. And they eventually return to the sea once they've become like as fish like as they can be. Until they're basically not human whatsoever. You wasted anymore. a nuke. I did waste a nuke. I'm sorry. So that's all it is? It's just fish people? It's. It's. It's the deep ones. Oh. It's like, oh, dang it. It's a whole civilization of these beings that live in the deep, deep ocean, and they have, like, ancient magic and technology that could probably take over the surface world at any point. Stuff like that. Stole your microphones, nerds, huh? Now you can't talk. Hey. Hey. I'm following him so I can still speak into the microphone. Yeah, hey, we're give running me that as back. we're playing. Hey. I'm carrying the TV. <laughs> He's locked us in again. Well, and I think the Deep Ones worship beings like Cthulhu as like their god. Like they're like his subjects, basically. Yeah. Oh, Cthulhu's in that book? In I think I think he's mentioned. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I probably should have said I was gonna level up before. No, it's fine. God damn it. Oh, I am losing health. Too bad those green things aren't like the safe points in Kingdom Hearts, so I could just heal. Yeah, some healing would be nice, but we have limited health packs. Jesus. I'd really like a Tommy gun too. I don't like the shotgun. Oh, this is this is not looking good. Uh, I, I am almost dead. 
Oh, can level up. Uh, power up. Okay. <laughs> Double XP. Uh, what is this? It is... Oh, well, I leveled up again. Uh, Reaper bullets. <coughs> really need health. Somebody sneezed. Allison did. Bullets. Oh. I'm shredding them for you. So, who who is the main character? Like... Is it just some investigator that goes to Innsmouth, or...? I can't remember exactly if, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. If, like... I'm asking these questions. I guess I just he need gets to read it. property in Innsmouth, or if it's just, like, he's investigating something going on in Innsmouth. I can't remember exactly. But he's human, right? Every, and he just discovers... I'm gonna put a spoiler warning here while we level up, because I'm gonna spoil part of the story. He, like finds out he has, like, some lineage from Innsmouth. I'm gonna press more health. Yeah, that's fine. And, like, he himself starts, like, feeling some attraction oh. to the sea and, like, wanting to return to Innsmouth, even though he found it, like, grotesque and odd and off-putting. Oh, is he from there? His family's from there. Oh. This story sounds vaguely familiar. Like, I've seen a version of it. Maybe it wasn't called Shadow Over Innsmouth, but it was maybe a movie or, or a TV show that was loosely based on it. Yeah. Because I feel like I have, I've heard this story before. Oh, Christ. I keep saying Christ! we got to find the fountain. got to stop like using his name somewhere. in vain. I don't think he minds. Yeah. He likes got, the attention. He's got bigger things to worry about. <laughs> we did it! Hey. Oh, go ahead. Fast teleport, woo! Perks, victory. E. Okay. Was that it? Was that all the you were trying to tell me about the story? Yeah. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to give it in like excruciating detail, mainly because yeah, I better. can't. But uh, yeah, I've only ever heard it once, and it was over a year ago. Whoa. Yeah, check out Lovecraft. Do it. He's good. Well, oh, shit. Yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, horrors in general, hor the horror genre. And uh, you'll find when you read Lovecraft, there is a theme in his books or his short stories where uh, you can delay evil, but you can never truly defeat it. It's always inevitable. These entities, the old gods or the eldritch gods, they are inevitable. I love the fact, too, that his whole thing is that it's cosmic horror in that it's just part of nature. It's not that they're evil. They right. just don't care about the fact that we exist at all. Right. It's, like, uh, we're insignificant to them. It's yeah, not it's, that they want to harm us. They just don't care about what happens to us. A lot of the gods in this book are, are symbolic of the futility. I'm going to level up. Of what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? It's 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 like the the futility of man's shit. I can't I can't think of a way to word that. He's basically saying we're not special. In, yes, in the, yes. In the that's, grand that's scheme right. of the universe, man is not special. Right. The universe is tremendous, and nothing we say or do is ultimately gonna matter in the end. Because all of his beings are like representations of different aspects of the universe. Yeah. Nyarlathotep is the fertility one, right? He represents. No, Nyarlathotep is the. He's, he's the devious one. Okay. Well, yeah, because he's the one that's most mostly deals with mortals. Yeah, he's the only one of the Elder Gods that has an actual personality. He actually likes to cause mischief. Yeah. So I guess he's the one that you could consider evil, but that's because he is the god of, like, chaos. That is his nature, is to be chaotic and so chaos in well, general. I think the idea behind him is that he's not doing... All he's doing is... What he's supposed to. Well, not what he's supposed to, but he does what he knows people are going to do anyway. He understands the nature of man and decides, you know, men are just going to do what they're going to do. Why not just help it have along. fun with it? Yeah, move it, move things along. He's just awakening he's a what's already there. Yeah. You know, if you're a, a 
if you are tempted by greed or lust or anything like that, then he'll be there. He knows you like you know, you're a greedy son of a bitch. So he can take any form he wants, do whatever he wants. But the one that you were uh, the fertility one. The fertility one is Shubnigorath. Shubnigorath, yeah. Yeah, the idea behind that is going back to man is not special. It's the idea blah, blah, blah. that... That uh, life itself right, is, is not special in the universe. It's an accident that happened. Right. <laughs> you could say that there's a, it's not. It's uncommon, but it's not special. Yeah, it's it's just the universe behaving strangely on this in this area, but that's about it. Yeah. yeah. The I, There's it's nothing always... inherently special about it, is what it's trying to portray. Because the, the god itself is constantly, like, birthing brand new beings that some escape into the world and become actual creatures, oh, while other ones are instantly reabsorbed and never exist again. So the whole thing is that, like, it's creating life constantly, but also destroying life constantly. So it's just another cycle of just yeah, the it's universe doing life what it does. And doesn't know half the time that it's giving life. Yeah, it doesn't care. I mean, hell, the just, most, they're literally falling out of it. The most powerful being and uh, the most powerful god is uh, Azathoth. Yeah. And he is, he's an idiot. He doesn't, <laughs> he, he's uh, basically an animal. He's created the entirety of all of existence and while he's been asleep. Yeah, and he, he has no idea. It. 